does that feel for you psychologically to get back on the field for a meaningful game? Oh, it, it, it felt normal um, in that in that regard. Psychologically, it felt normal. It felt like you know, like I played the game before and I played it for a long time, and you know, I just kept that mentality and prepared that way. And, you know, I didn't take it like I had taken you know eight games off or whatever it was. I just took it like it was another game in, in the progression. Richard, was there any other trash talk in that way too? Uh, Yeah, he, he needs to get back to the hotel. Getting ready to talk about. <laughs> Did you allow yourself to have that moment of, "Man, I missed this. I missed doing this." Um, no, no, I've never. I, I don't. I'm not one of those players that like gives gives the big aspects hell. Like, ah, oh, man, this is. You know, I think I once I'm done playing, you know, whenever that is, I'll take a big exhale and, and look around and see what I did. Did, despite your reputation, with all that time off, did you expect them to go after you a little bit more, especially early in the game? Um, I didn't have any expectations, honestly, in that regard. I just went out there and expected them to try to execute their game plan, and that's what they did. You know, I think if the plays were drawn up and um, I was the read, I was on that side, I don't think he would have hesitated to do it. But, um, you know, I just went out there and played my game. What's your read on uh, Matthew Stafford and the Lions? Um, it's a good team. Good team that, that had some unfortunate circumstances last week. Um, you know, I think their their defense, especially, played played pretty good, good enough to win the football game. You, you know, anytime you get a pick six in the game, you expect to win it. Um, and I think that you know, I think at one point in the third quarter they were it was 17-24, and then when they got back out there to play defense, it was 38-14. You know, I think that's it's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough to play to play with. So I think they're gonna come out raring to go. Oh, he's, he's, he's a dynamic receiver. He's very tough to tackle. Um, you know, anytime he has the ball in his hands, he can go the, the distance. Uh, he has great speed. He has great balance. Everything you 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 want in a running back and a receiver. And he does a great job. How'd you feel that the uh, yesterday, Rich, looking at the injury report through practice and through then, was like uh, the, a lot of banged up bodies in the secondary. Do you have to kind of make sure that everybody's on the same page? Yeah, you always have to do that. You always have to do that because, I mean, last game was a perfect example of how things can go straight really quickly. Um, you know, when we lost both guards, we lost keys, um, and guys have to step in and be ready to play, and that's, that's football. You know, football is a 100% injury rate game. I don't think anybody who's played, you know, more than one game can go out there and say, hey, man, I feel great after, you know what I mean? You, you, you're always going to have some nick bruise, and the next guy always has to be ready, so that's definitely something we're cognizant of. In that vein, how did you feel? After that game, I physically. Good. I mean, I felt like I, I played a football game, you know. So you got all the normal soreness that comes with that. But I, I felt really good, you know, in terms of my lower body and, and the things that that you know have been had work done cosmetically. You know. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> How'd the you calf feel? implants, right? Right. right. <laughs> How did you feel like the communication and the you know assign assignments went in the secondary in that game? I think for the most part we're pretty locked in. Uh, I think. You know, the plays that we alerted, we knew a lot of things were coming. There was a few few mistakes on third downs in terms of alignment and leverage that, that could, were easily correctable. You know, it was just guys had, hadn't seen the look and it was different, different look. But I think for the most part, I think guys communicated well. They executed the game plan and, and we did exactly what we wanted to. There were mistakes here and there, you know, but for the most part, I think we played a good game. It's not the secondary. What did you think of Fred Warner's communication as a, out there as a rookie in his first game? He did a good job. He did a really good job. He was calm. He was poised. Um, you know, if you didn't know he was a rookie, you would have never guessed he was a rookie. Uh, he, he, he was deliberate, uh, made a lot of great tackles. Um, obviously, the forced fumble was a huge play, um, but got his hands on multiple footballs, got a QB hit. I mean, he was all over the place. How, how much does this, I mean, obviously, preparation is a big part of what you guys do, but he said he takes pride in working in the film room and, and watching as much tape as anybody on the team. Do you notice that from him? And, and did that translate on something? Well, I don't, I don't honestly track him and see where he is at all times, but I, I, you can see it on the field. You can see that he's always in the right spot. He recognizes plays really fast. He diagnoses things. He, he, he gets to his spots. So those are things that you can you can see he really puts the work in, puts the time in. Anytime a rookie middle linebacker, that's like, that's, you know, as they, they call the quarterback of the defense, you'll come out there with a rookie and, and you play well. Um, he had to be incredibly prepared. Richard, this is your favorite game here than the 49ers at home. Do you expect the cheers, I assume? Uh, I, I, 
don't expect anything. I just, <laughs> gotta, I just go out there and expect, expect to play at a high level and, and go out there and execute. I, I, I've never been one to, to sit there and listen up to hear if they cheer or boo. You know, I mean, either way, I go out there and do my job. A lot of times I've done my job really well and got booed, so, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm, at, I'm at a waste agents a lot, but you know, <laughs> I would never seem to just appreciate, but I did my job. <laughs> Been booed here a few times, too. Right, 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 right. They booed me here. No, no, it's not what I expected at all. You know, I, you, you never know what to expect because this is, you know, the other rules that they emphasized in, in previous years were, were normal rules, you know, illegal contact, pass interference, holding, et cetera, et cetera. Those were rules that were have been in football forever. This rule is a is a fundamental change. It's, it's a rule that's never been instituted, it's never been enforced, so you, you, you don't know what to expect. You don't know if they're going to call it every play or they're never going to call it or what the deal is, the only thing you hope is that you don't get down the line to a meaningful football game and have it decided by a play like that. There was some thought that in the preseason they were going to essentially overcall it and then they would have a lot of tape to go back and look and kind of refine it. Did you get the sense that it was, it's been refined or was just like it wasn't there? Yeah, I don't think it's been refined. I think they understand that there's no, there's no call in that. You know what I mean? You can call it on just about every play where, where, run, where somebody catches or has the football and lowers his head. In our game, Kirk Cousins was running the football and lowered his helmet. And, you know, technically, if you follow the rule of the law, you could call it there. Mm -hmm. You know, you call leading with his helmet, initiating contact with, with the crown of his helmet, but you don't call it there because what the heck are you talking about? You know what I mean? It's right. football. This is a football game. You, you can't lead your body with anything else but your head. You guys played pretty well on the road against a good team, but you lost. Like, how are you feeling overall about the team heading into week two? Um, frustrated, frustrated with with the loss. You know, we we, we could have played better. We could have executed some things a little bit better um, defensively. Uh, I think as a whole, as a team, you know, nobody's satisfied with that. You don't, you're not satisfied with. Hey, man, you almost got him. You know, I mean, I don't think I don't think any kind of winning football team is satisfied with that. So um, we look forward to getting a bad taste out of them. I remember that if he played right now, he wouldn't be able to play. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was a great player. He he was smart, but he was an enforcer, you know. And and, and that was a day. That was, those are the days when football was actually a sport where you could be physical. Um, now, if he hit somebody even with half the power that he was hitting them with now, I mean, he'd be kicked out of the league. He'd be banned, and and that's that. Thank you, Dad.